Hello guys, my name is Amin and welcome to another Arch Expert playlist. On this video, I want to talk about what's the true meaning of software architecture, which many developers don't know. We will review the 4 plus 1 architectural views. So, let's start. Software architecture plays a crucial role in building every single application. However, many developers often don't know the true meaning of architecture. In this video, we will explore the 4 plus 1 architectural views, which provide different perspectives for understanding a system architecture and why they are essential for software development. As you see, we have 4 main views. Logical view, development view, physical view and process view which all of them connects to scenario or better known as use case view. Look carefully to the connection between these views. By the end of a video, you will understand why they are connected. The logical view. The logical view focuses on the high components, the interaction and relations. It provides perspective on the system functionality and identify variance operations. The logical view helps architects and developers understand how different components of system interact and work together to achieve functionality. Let me break it to you. Logical view is a kind of UML and diagram. It's a roadmap that helps you understand how high-level components work together to achieve functionality. Remember, it's about functionality. It shows you a high-level components relation and interaction together and helps architectures and developers to understand how the system gonna achieve the functionality. So, let me give you some example on logical view. It's an overview that how our components gonna work together to achieve the functionality. For example, the web server, the employee interface, the customer interface, all this works together, show the relation and interaction to see what we're gonna make at the end, what we're gonna achieve at the end. Okay, here's one other example. All the functional item, product item, production item, and logical item, all this connects together and see how they are related together to give us the functionality. This is logical view. Okay, let's go to the process view. The process view captures the dynamic aspects of systems such as concurrency, performance, and scalability. It helps in understanding the system's behavior at the runtime, including how different processes or threads interact and communicate with each other. The process view is a crucial for the designing system that can handle the high loads, ensure optimizable performance and meets non-functional requirements. The process view is a non-functional requirement at the runtime when your application is running at the production and it shows us that how the performance, scalability and concurrency behavior at the runtime. Physical view. The physical view focuses on systems deployment and infrastructure. It includes server, network, hardware and other physical resources. It helps architects and developers understand how the system is deployed in the different environments such as development, testing and staging and production. The physical view is essential for the designing system that, that can easily deploy and scale across a different environment. It means that the physical view gives us the information that helps us to understand on different environments such as developing, testing and staging and the production, what kind of resources we need to handle our application and scale across different environments. Development view. The development view addresses the software development process, tools, and environments. It includes aspects such as coding standard, development methodology, version control, building system, and development environment. The development view helps in stabling effective development practices and ensure that the software is developed effectively with high quality maintainability. Many developers think that architecture is just development view, like Onion Arch, but Onion Arch is one of the subset of development view. The standard that all the developers on the team write they methods and how they code is one of the other subset of development view. Okay, we reviewed the four main views and now it's the time to review scenario or better known as use case view. The use case view captures the functional requirement of the system from user's perspective. It helps understanding system's use case, scenario and user interactions. The use case view is a crucial for ensuring that the system meets the needs of users and stakeholders and that functional requirements are correct and captured and implement. It means that all the logical view, process view, development view, and physical view meets the need of stakeholder and users. Let's back to the picture that I'll show you at the first of the video. You will see that all the four main views connected to the scenario or use case view. That's why we want to make sure that all these views are 
implemented correct on our application and meets the needs of users and stakeholders. If all the enterprise applications use this 4 plus 1 view software architectural, the failure on enterprise projects will fail down a lot. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel and leave a comment.